The Battle of Raritza was fought between Polish legionnaires and Austria-Hungary from February 15 to 16, 1918, near Raritza in Bukovina, and ended with a Polish victory. Chapter 1 Background The Brest-Litovsk Treaty, which was being negotiated on February 9, 1918, did not appear to benefit the idea of a nation-state for Poland. This treaty, signed between the Central Powers and the Ukrainian People's Republic on February 9, 1918, transferred the province of Helm to the Ukrainian state. Poles, meanwhile, believed that the town of Helm and surrounding lands should be under Polish control. The Polish forces, part of the Austro-Hungarian army stationed on the border of Bessarabia, were increasingly restless. They were relatively spread out throughout the region over a front line 250 kilometers in length. They consisted of the Polish Auxiliary Corps, as well as some additional Polish units. The Poles, having received the information about the treaty on February 12, and expecting, in the aftermath of the treaty further weakening of the Polish units, decided on the February 14 to join forces with the Polish First Army Corps in Russia by crossing the Austrian-Russian front lines. Only a few, including General Michał Zielinski, proposed taking no action, however even Zielinski unofficially supported the mutiny. Chapter 2 – Battle Polish units, mostly the 2nd and 3rd Regiment under the command of Józef Aleda Hallenberg, attempted to break through the Austrian lines on February 15–16, 1918. Austrian forces were ordered to stop them, and fighting ensued in several places. The main Polish units broke through the Austro-Hungarian army near a town called Raritza, located in Bukovina, but the rear units with wagons were stopped by an armored train, and eventually disarmed and arrested. Chapter 3 – Aftermath The legionnaires won the battle, but estimates of their losses vary, according to historian Jerzy Lersky they suffered great losses, but Gorlick states there were only 16 casualties, while over 900 soldiers of the Auxiliary Corps and other Polish soldiers from other formations, about 4,000, total, were arrested. 86 officers and NCOs were later put to trial by the Austro-Hungarian government, but Charles I of Austro-Hungary ordered the trial to be stopped, and a few weeks later Austro-Hungary was no more. Some of Allais' troops were able to make it through the front lines into already abandoned Russian trenches, and on March 5 were absorbed into the Polish Second Corps, whilst many were captured and imprisoned by the Austrians. The remaining troops under General Allais would be defeated in May by the Germans in the Battle of Kanyau. Chapter 4 